Okay, let's uh, go over some uh, Fuji X-T2, not specifications, because anybody can go to Fuji's website and take a look at the specifications, but the important points. It's usually the case anytime a new camera comes out, you get a list of specifications, and that doesn't really tell you the important stuff that you actually do care about. Like, oh my god, that's not a feature that was listed in the specifications. That's actually what I care about, so that's what this video is about. Um... As it happens on the Fuji X-T2 for the very first time, the full functionality of the Fuji X-T2 or any other camera is split between the actual camera and the vertical grip. For example, on the mirror camera alone for 4K video recording, you are uh, limited to 10 minutes with the Fuji X-T2 alone. With the vertical grip and the two additional batteries in boost mode, you have the ability to shoot 30 minutes well, 29 minutes and 59 seconds of 4K video. Also, in boost with the vertical grip, what you can't get with the mirror camera alone, you're able to go from 8 frames per second to uh, 11 frames per second. Also, a lag and uh, increased autofocus speed. So, the functionality, the pure functionality of the Fuji X-T2 camera, if you're gonna, I'm a, turtle, a total of a vertical battery grip slut. I mean, I have a vertical battery grip for everything. That's what I grew up on in photography school with my Nikon uh, F4S. So, I'm, I, I, don't, I don't even like cameras without vertical battery grips, to be honest with you, so. But if you are a person that, uh, likes the bare camera and you don't particularly like vertical battery grips this is an important thing that is not listed in the specification so it's like wow that's important to know i do not have full functionality of the camera because it is split between the camera and the vertical battery grip so for 30 minutes of recording uh, the full 11 frames per second and increased autofocus speed tracking and lag you have to be able to have the vertical battery grip attached to your fuji xt2 you're not going to get that off the camera alone you do have, which uh, exists on the Fuji X-T10, which does not exist on the X-T1, a threaded shutter release, and I absolutely love that. I've got some soft button shutter releases, which means that you're able to customize, because there's all sorts of manufacturers of soft shutter button releases. You're able to screw in to uh, the threaded hole on the shutter button uh, shutter release for letting you customize the shutter uh, release for your Fuji X-T2. Um, like on the X-T10, which does not exist on the Fuji X-T1s, you have full clickable front and rear command dials. So not only are they dialable, but they're also clickable and dialable, which existed on the Fuji X-T10, which came after the Fuji X-T1. That was kind of something we knew would happen, but that's not listed in the specifications. 325 autofocusing points. Oh my goodness. You have uh, also additionally in the Fuji X-T2 dual UHS-2 SD card slots. So you have dual uh, SD card slots. It is essentially filming in 5K video, which is down sampled to 4K recording for 30 minutes total with the vertical battery grip in 16 by 9 crop mode. No different than the Nikon D500 is. Um, the amazing thing also now is you have focus peaking for video recording. While you're actually filming your video, you have the ability to do manual focus peaking, which is, I'm not even a video fan, and I think that's a huge feature. Um, you also have now, instead of having to actually press in the dials on uh, the, uh, the uh, ISO and, uh, and uh, shutter, you have a clickable uh, push button, locking button, so you can actually push it and unlock it. It'll pop up and let you sit there and spin it all day long if you want. Or if you're worried about accidentally bumping it, you press it in and lock it to flush so you cannot move it. So now there's a completely different modality of uh, changing uh, your ISO and changing your shutter speeds via the buttons on top, whereas on the X-T1 you have to hold it in and change them. On this you can release it and sit there and spin it all day long if you want or lock it into place so that's important um, three batteries in total with the vertical battery grip there is a new modality of battery it takes the exact same battery as the Fuji X-T1 except there is a new S uh, suffix uh, for uh, better uh, power consumption for especially filming in high burst rates and also filming in 4K so there is an idealized battery for the Fuji X-T2. Not a different battery, but an improved one. Um, four matrix metering modes as opposed to three on the Fuji X-T1. Uh, the vertical battery grip on the Fuji X-T2 
is also a charger. There's a 9 volt charger that actually comes with it uh, for both the two internal batteries on the Fuji X-T2. So you don't actually have to take out both batteries and charge them one at a time. I mean, you if it is the case and you so desire, you never have to remove the batteries on the vertical grip at all. You sit there and just plug in your 9 volt charger and charge both of them. That's uh, That's a huge hands to Fuji right there. Um, everything I've been able to glean, and I've been squeezing my brain on every source of information, and people have been beta testing the camera, and, uh, and videos, and some test shots. There's even a bunch of test shots that shouldn't be out there right now on a Polish website. They look really good. Um, there's five uh, serious hardcore autofocus continuous tracking modes, uh, unlike anything that Sony has, or Nikon has, or even Canon has, that you have the ability to change your continuous autofocus tracking for accelerating objects, slow or fast, uh, the appearance mode, in other words, you're actually taking a uh, shot of a, uh, a background and you're waiting for an object to appear in the scene like a skier coming over the top of a cliff for example where it'll immediately detect something accelerating into the composition uh, foreground and background autofocus continuous tracking so there are five hardcore serious continuous autofocusing modes on the Fuji X-T2 that does not exist on any other current uh, system platform and there you go to Fuji on that one um, definitely so. The vertical grip, people are complaining about the price of the vertical grip at $364, but the, uh, uh, it's a button lover's dream, and uh, not that I'm a button lover so much. The uh, new vertical grip for the Fuji X-T2 is the most versatile vertical battery grip made by anyone ever, which also has an additional headphone jack for monitoring video. And uh, you actually have uh, cue buttons and focus assistance, uh, auto exposure lock, auto focus lock, joystick. Uh, so it is a, uh, a button slots uh, dream uh, vertical grip. Um, significantly reduced uh, EVF lag, which is now at uh, 0 0.06 seconds. So 0, 0.0 seconds lag. Um, also in continuous burst mode, there's significantly less blackout. So those are the important things that uh, you don't really get and taking a look at the specification charts from Fuji on their website or other websites, the key important points. To me, there's a really key important points that you know, you just don't, you don't see them by looking at the stupid specification chart that doesn't really tell you the kind of important stuff. And I guess that's it. Uh, so remember that uh, the functionality is split now between the camera and the vertical grip. So it's uh, a case where you don't get everything with the camera as far as uh, 30 minutes of filming video or a full uh, 11 frames per second or increased autofocus tracking. You got to be stacking on that vertical battery grip to get the two, the full absolute potential of the camera and that is not something that exists like on the X-T1 or you know my Nikons for example you add a battery grip you add a battery grip you know you got a vertical grip and uh, additional power there but with the Fuji X-T2 vertical grip you have absolute total full functionality in video and frame per second split between the camera and the vertical grip but that is no problem to me because I'm a vertical battery grip slut so you may not be but that's an important thing to know so Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you later. Bye.